Hi everyone. In this video, we will be reviewing the key differences between Orange HRM version 7.5 and previous versions. As you can see, there are significant changes to the user interface with lots of new features and functionality included. So let's go ahead and talk through the main differences. The dashboard is the first screen you will see when you log into Orange HRM. In previous versions, the dashboard was accessed by expanding the other section and clicking on Dashboard. In our most recent 7.5 version, you can quickly and easily navigate to the dashboard by clicking on the Home icon right here or by navigating to the Employee Management module and clicking on the Dashboard option from the top navigation bar. The dashboard content has not changed, so you will be able to navigate your way around very easily if you are familiar with previous versions. Additionally, you can access the Help portal from any screen by selecting the icon from the top navigation bar as follows. In previous versions of Orange HRM, if you wanted to review the About section, change the password or log out of the system, you would click this down arrow here. However, in our latest version, if you hover over your profile picture, a cogwheel icon should appear. Clicking on this icon allows you to access the About section or change your password as required. The option to log out of the system has been moved to the top right corner of the screen. Also, by clicking this icon, you can check all the shortcuts in the system. Let us explore some additional changes. In previous versions, the My Info section was situated in the side navigation panel as you can see here. However, with our new modular system, it now resides within the Employee Management module. Now you can simply navigate to the My Info screen by going into the module and selecting My Info from the top navigation bar. Next, let's have a look at the Leave module. In the previous version, the side navigation panel provided menu options to allow you to apply for leave, view your leave usage and entitlements, the leave calendar and leave reports. Now, in our new user interface, all these options, apart from the Leave Usage Report, are located in the top navigation bar as you can see here. The Leave Usage Report can now be found within the Reporting and Analytics module here. We will cover the Reports module in more detail at the end of this video. Let us move on to the Time module. In previous versions, the Timesheet section was accessed by expanding the Time option from the side panel. Now you can locate your timesheets by navigating to the Time Tracking module and selecting My Timesheets from the top navigation bar. From here you can enter and submit your timesheets. In the older version of Attendance, two key elements of functionality were visible by expanding the menu option on the side panel. The first being the ability to view your records and the second being the ability to punch in and out. These functions now exist in the Attendance module in version 7.5 and higher. You can access the My Records section, the Punch In and Out functions, and also check your monthly attendance information from the top navigation bar. In the Orange HRM Training section, in older versions, upon expansion of the training menu, your participatory records and assessments were visible like so. In the latest version of the Orange HRM system, these options now appear under the Training module on the left sidebar. Once you click on the module, you will be directed to the My Participating Sessions screen by default. You can also access courses and sessions from here. You will also be able to navigate to the My Assessments by expanding the Online Assessment Courses option from the top navigation bar. If we consider the Performance module next, in older versions, once this menu option was expanded from the side panel, the system displayed options to view your trackers, your goals and your appraisals. These functions have now been relocated to the performance module in version 7.5 and higher. To access these functions, simply navigate to the performance module and they will be displayed on the top navigation bar like so. By navigating to the career development module here, the ESS user can view and update their IDPs, as well as their respective IDP screen, which will appear by default as follows. In the Orange HRM Travel and Expense module in version 7.5, 
an ESS user can easily access his or her travel requests and claims by navigating to them directly via the options located on the top navigation bar. We have now combined the reporting capabilities into one section called Reports and Analytics. Here you will be able to check the accessible reports for each module. Finally, let's review the More section. This section comprises a number of key functions including Announcements, Buzz, Preferences, Organizational Chart, Company Directory and Assets. In version 7.5 and higher, these options have moved to multiple modules throughout the system, as we will see now. Starting off with the Announcements section, which consists of news and documents. This section can now be accessed by navigating to the Employee Management module and expanding it from the top navigation bar. To get to the organizational chart and the company directory, simply select the respective options from here also. Finally, to access the My Preferences and Asset screens, navigate to the HR Administration module and select those options as required from here on the top navigation bar. We have also introduced a new Quick Search feature, which allows you to jump to any module or sub-module by simply typing the name in the new search bar right here. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any further questions, please contact us at info.hrm.com or visit our website at www.orangehrm.com.